Hello everyone. Whew. I I have a had a day. So we'll get into that in just a minute. I'm gonna call Andrew up here so that we can discuss it together. And actually let me turn down the well actually let me go in here, turn down the game. Probably around to there. That's a good spot. Okay. All right. Calling him up. Listen. Oh yeah, and I have a um. Trying to save my wrist some. So. Can you hear me? Yes. Hello. Okay. Good. I'm trying to arrange a bunch of stuff so I can still use my laptop to edit. Right, right, right. Uh, I'm actually going to turn the game down a little more so that I can hear you a little better. So it'll be there in the background, but not too loud. I can't remember if this is one of those games that gets louder when you start it up. Um, holy shit, I have had a day couple days really but like damn had had quite a bit of time here so I'm just gonna start up a new game uh, did I have anything else uh, no this is my this is my setup here so yep let's start it has been a while if I recall okay let's see I'm trying to remember the shortcuts and things Save your current crew positions, so... Right. I'll... Yes, I will save these positions, and then I can switch back. So that's new. I haven't actually seen that. Ship info. Okay. I have not played this in quite a while, so... I do not... I'm not 100% positive of how it goes. Let's load up our weapons. And jump. And we'll head... Oh, let's head this way first. Andrew will be back in a minute, so... Scans reveal a large asteroid field nearby. Short-range scanners may discover useful materials while we wait for the FDL to recharge. Hmm, let's explore. Why not? Oh, a pirate ship! Well, that's not good. Alright, let's see here. I'm gonna hit him with... Artemis, right in their dang shields, and a burst laser. 
right in there. Uh, let's be fucked up and do their oxygen. Hmm. You know, hold on. I'm gonna see if I can lower some things here in the options. So this can you hear me? Yes. Hello. Okay. I don't know what happened there. You just apparently stopped being able to hear me for a minute. Ah, uh, the dynamic backgrounds is what was really uh. I just saw a video on this game the other day about how it has one of the hardest bosses in video game history. Oh yeah, they're so fucking hard to beat. Holy shit. If you have not played it, then, like, definitely. It's a good game. Like, it's, I mean, it's a roguelike, and it's basically just, like, what Star, Star Trek is trying to make you feel. Just, mm -hmm. like, actually having to handle a crew and, like, a ship. It's fun, but, um, yeah, it's really fucking hard. I've never beaten it. Um, or, wait, wait, nope, not that. There? Yes. Ah. Yeah, Andrew, how has your day been? Well, I've been editing the video. Mm hmm. And uh, we're going to cut a lot of shit out of this video. Yeah? How long is it before it was edited? I have it in four pieces. The first video is four hours long, the <laughs> second one is seven hours long. The third is two hours long, and the last one is one hour long. Oh, okay. A That's not... lot of it. Yeah. A lot of it is just watching a literal clock on your wrist. Oof. So, it's literally just standing around doing nothing for literal, like, hours in the game. Mm, yeah. So I'm just cutting out anything that is not the storyline or, like, fun to look at. Or leads to something later. Right. Like, if it's just wandering around playing darts, for the most part, I'm cutting it out. Yeah, that makes sense. And there's a lot getting cut out. Like, I've trimmed it down to... quite a bit for the first video, so there's at least that, but mm -hmm. it's hard to know how much I've trimmed down because I'm also speeding it up so I can get through it and scrub it faster. Right, right. So, let's send both of those guys there. Ooh, accept their offer. We can use everything that we need right now. Oh, man. I mean, that is definitely work and such, and I've had days like that, but holy shit, the day I've had started out okay. I went, I was just running errands, I went, shipped that thing at the post office to you, um, and then I just went by Walmart, which, that's an aggravation, especially now, more than ever. Um. Yeah, I can imagine. I actively, there was a m moment, um, there was a moment where I was walking past... First off, there was this group of people... Um, this group of people who were all wearing the same green masks, and one of them had a trucker hat that said, like, 420 with a big pot leaf. Mm -hmm. So, that was kind of cool. Um, yeah. uh, but the... Yeah, the one of the people pushing the wheelchair of one of those people, who they were not wearing a mask, um, as I walked by them going the wrong way into one of the aisles, uh, I heard the person pushing the cart, who didn't have a mask, or not the cart, the wheelchair, um, and the person in the wheelchair said, uh, you're going the wrong way down the aisle, and the person without the mask said, I don't care, I'm a free woman, they can't tell me what to do. It's like, hun, no. This is not the hill to die on. People are fucking ignorant. People are fucking stupid. Is really what it comes down to. Yeah. Like, that's not, it's, like, you can have principles, but when your principles are actively hurting other people, they're bad principles. Bad principles sounds like a shitty, like, 
late tens comedy movie. Yeah. <laughs> there was that makes me think of there was like a punk band from around that time called Bad Credit. Mm. They got some some fucking bangers though. Definitely check out Bad Credit if you haven't. My mom used to be a, uh, an assistant teacher for the troubled kids at school. Mm -hmm. At my middle school, so like the kids that just probably really all came down to like learning disabilities, but like you know it was easier to just lump them all in a room with troublemakers instead. Yeah. And um, one time she was fucking with one of the kids who was just being a dick that day. And so she, uh, asked one of the kids, or one of the kids was asked a question by the main teacher, and my mom whispered an answer to him, but she whispered the wrong answer. Oh. On purpose. Right. And the kids yelled it out real quick, and when the main teacher was like, no, the kid turned around and said, that's bad credit, Miss Binge. And my mom has fucking made fun of that phrase, bad credit, for years, because I'll do the same shit to her. Yeah. Like, I can't remember the specifics of this story, but, like, we're watching a movie, and she's like, who is that actor? And I was like, do you remember in, um, I'm gonna make up things here. You remember in, uh, you know, Grand Budapest Hotel, that one guy that played the maitre d and all that the, like the main guy and she's like yeah i was like you remember the other guy that was with him she's like yeah i was like that's not him <laughs> <laughs> she just she was so fucking in like yeah and then fucking lost it was it that's not him yeah uh so after i went by um after i went by walmart i got a few things you know some groceries and stuff I got mm -hmm. um, I got a compression brace because I've been working out a lot, and for the most part, I've been okay. But my right wrist, like I guess, just putting weight on it from push-ups, is like uh -huh. really wearing it out. Um, which I've been mostly doing push-ups on like dumbbells to a be able to go deeper on it and b to like put less strain on my wrists. But it's still something. So got that, wearing that whenever I need it now. Um, and then I also got a couple of shirts. A couple of shirts, kind of like the uh, Pineapple Pete, Aaron Hansen kind of short sleeve button up, Jimmy Buffett looking shirt. Hawaiian print is the word you're looking yeah, for. Well, not really Hawaiian print specifically, but like, yeah, definitely the kind of like surf chic sort of thing. Yeah. Um, and I was super excited to wear that and be like a grill dad but uh i i when i got home i was like okay i'm gonna do a small load of laundry with what we have from over the week and those shirts so that i can wear it make sure it's sanitized and everything and to step it back a few months um our washing machine has been having trouble and in fact our plumbing our entire plumbing situation has been having trouble for quite a while but um we've we've been okay for the most part basically something was going on where our um our uh what do you call it our uh our washing machine when it drained would basically just overflow onto the floor because there was a clog somewhere in the system and like for a long time we've known that that and the kitchen sink were connected in some way because when we did want uh, the washing machine and it drained it would always um, it would always like make a lot of bubbling sound through the pipes that you could hear through the kitchen sink huh. um, so over time is there a way to like heal my my guys uh, oh by the way, way. The audio cuts in and out on this game occasionally. The first chunk has no audio whatsoever. Huh. Weird. Which sucks. Well, wait, how much of the first chunk? Like... Like, the first uh, four hours of footage 
Oh, no right, the game you're playing. Sorry, I thought you meant the, the stream here. No, no, I can't hear your game at all. So right. I don't have the, the, that turned on. Um, you don't need any robot parts. Um, so, yeah, yesterday our sinks kept overflowing. And we're not overflowing, but like being backed up. And so I, I like went through and I found a clog in like the U-bend underneath. And so everything was okay-ish. But then when I did laundry today, what do I wanna buy? Um, hold on. Uh, yeah, let's buy that. Um, so when I did laundry, it, uh, backed up in the sinks and just would not drain at all. Not even slowly like it had before, where occasionally you'd have to like turn it off so that it wouldn't overflow. And so now it's just backing up directly into the water softener and into the sinks. No drainage whatsoever. And it's just this horrible sulfurous smell, just like rotten eggs all over. And while the hose is mostly clear of the the drain, it's enough that, yeah, a lot of that water splashed back up into the laundry, so now all that laundry is dirty, have no way to clean it. So all of those clothes, like the shirt I really wanted to wear, and everything, and now no plumbers in this area are open right now, and like half of them are probably shut down due to like business um, just not being very well lately and like they're they're not even their their phones literally it's like saying that the numbers disconnected completely so it's just it's a pain in the ass and I'm going to have to like I'm going to have to call them tomorrow get all of that shit sorted out hopefully be able to get it sometime this week because, like, currently we have a working shower, at least, and the bathroom sinks work. But, like, the kitchen sink is not usable. The washing machine is not usable. We have a water softener half full of, like, the drainage from the uh, washing machine, which I'm hoping will drain. If not, I'm going to have to siphon that out, which is not going to be fun. Just a whole mess of nonsense. Yeah. Better you than me. Yeah, 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 yeah. I... Uh... I'm on to the second video now. Of oh. four. And it, I believe, is the longest of them all. Hmm. Right. It's the seven-hour video. Okay. So... I'm... Just kind of scrub through a bunch of that. Yeah. And then the rest are, like, pretty short after that. Like, this is the longest recording I did. Um, this is the recording I had to... Re this is the point where I had to restart last time. Because I recorded or played all this and none of it recorded, so I had to completely start over. So... Um... Yeah. Oh, right, that's how you fucking heal them. We I have a sick bay. I have not played this game in a long time. Mm. Couldn't remember how to heal any crew members. I'm glad none of them died. Because that'd be pretty much a death sentence this early on. So, I found out recently that there's a thing in gaming animation mm -hmm. that's really, really difficult to, like, uh, animate. What's that? And that is the transfer of items from one person to another. Oh, yeah, you were talking about that with Shenmue. Right, so if you played even modern games like The Witcher 3 or um, any game where somebody hands an item to another player or mm -hmm. another character, you'll see that they reach into their pocket, usually their back pocket, just suddenly have whatever the thing is in their hand. And then kind of, like, turn their hand over five feet in front of the other character. And the other character has their hand, like, up, facing from five feet away. Right. The hands never touch. The item never touches the hand. So, 
it's very difficult to animate. Or they'll do it off screen by panning in real close on the face. Hmm. So. It, uh, apparently, it's just a super difficult thing to animate. Uh, right. The transfer of an item to a hand in a game. And you'll see it, like, often if somebody's holding an item and moving it in their hand, it'll, like, kind of move funny compared to the hand. And so, um, you'll see that a lot, actually. And once you notice it, it's hard to miss. So, the reason it looks so weird when Ryo picks up anything in this game is because it's so difficult, and this was been done in 1999. Hmm. And so, like, the weird way he holds items that you're inspecting and looking at is because of that. Right. So, I thought that was interesting. I'm really heartbroken over the audio being lost because... There are some really great moments of audio in this game. Oh yeah, a That's lot of those line reads are a ton of uh, a ton of fun. Oh god, yeah. Some some classic stuff in there. You're fronting me, beat it, kid. Oh yes, sir. I've been expecting you. Go on in. Do you know anywhere sailors might hang out? I'm looking for sailors. Can you read Chinese? <laughs> one of my favorite Mega64 videos, it's one of the first ones, um, is just Rocco going around as Rio, just asking the exact same things of random people on the street. God, that would be hilarious. Uh, and it ends with him getting like hit with a kickball in the head and just dying. Uh, that kind of happens yeah i figured Except it's a reference i haven't seen enough of the game to to be able to relate do you know who tom papa is i may have the name wrong but i'm pretty sure i don't tom papa uh, i've not heard of this he's person. a stand-up comedian okay he's one that you would look at and go oh him mm -hmm. i i need you to like see this guy because i swear to god he's one of the villains in this game Okay. Um, yeah, hold on. If you send it to me on Discord, I, I can just... check. This This is a game where you can kind of control the pacing however you like. I just did. Oh, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. Let's see what we got. Yeah? Ah, damn, it doesn't show a preview. Shit. Uh, here, here, I'll send a picture. Okay, a picture of a picture? Well, a picture of... Like, I didn't send a picture, I sent, like... Uh, Google link. Right. I'm not using my mouse, so it really sucks. Mm. Uh, this guy. Okay. Hold on. Oh, wow, yeah. That does not. That looks like a man that someone made for a claymation <laughs> animation. I swear to God, he looks like the villain Charlie in this game. Hmm. Also, there's a point in the game that had me fucking dying laughing yeah. when I was recording. It may be because I was not exactly sober. Um, sure. But, like, um, this shot has uh, Ryo get into a fight and, um,. During the fight, it looks like he murdered a man. Uh, what? Yeah, and then he just goes back to like chilling out and doing his job. And it is, without a doubt, the funniest thing I have ever seen in my life. And I just could like I'm I'm gonna cut for the most part the uh, forklift driving no, completely. Certainly. Like I'll leave in the first day. And then this one day, and I'll cut around so that cutscenes happen. Sure. But I'm either going to just completely cut the cutscene or the like fork with driving shots itself, or I'm going to trim it down to be. Um... Oh, see, this breaks my heart. We didn't get the Japanese audio. Oh, no. 
Um, but I'm going to either trim out the shots of him driving a forklift completely, or mm -hmm. I'm going to very carefully, like, speed them up. Sure. Because it is unwatchable. Like, there's so much stuff that's just repeating, like, what you've already seen. That right. It's just unwatchable. Oof. Um, wait. Unfortunate. Just, yeah, like, when you go to visit this one guy, you have to go through a security gate, and the, like, cutscene of the guard talking to you is the exact same every time. Right. Uh, it's just like, eh. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, God, we're taking a lot of damage. Oh, God. It would be really funny if, so far there's been no audio in the game. Mm -hmm. It'd be really funny if it cut in during the Japanese scene. Mm. Oh. Okay. We got door controls back. Everybody return to your stations. Ion Black. Did you say you've got a dork control back? Door control. Although, dork control probably as well. Dork control. Listen. Got that. <laughs> I was going to reference a Bob and Tom bit, but I decided against it. Take out their oxygen. Let them suffocate in space. There's a Bob and Tom bit where... Um, I don't, like, it's one of those things where they just reference the punchline now. Right. You know what I mean? Like, have you ever seen, you know those kind of inside jokes where all you have to do is say the punchline and everybody knows what you're talking about. Oh, So sure. you don't tell the whole joke anymore. It was yeah. one of those situations where now all I know is the phrase, You got the pussy control! And I'm like, what the fuck is that from? What does this mean? I feel that way anytime, like, um, I'm watching Game Grumps after a break, and they're just making a joke that is a reference to something from, like, months ago. But the thing is, sometimes their jokes are references to other things that they're talking about out off of the thing. So they're just, like, giggling to themselves about something that they've never mentioned on the actual on the show. show. Yeah. And then they, like, want to tell the story, but then they realize they can't. Yeah. Like, my favorite instance of this is Aaron uh, discussing the time he uh, jerked off at a friend's house five feet from his sleeping friend. Uh, and he's like, he was like, I can't tell this story. It's going to be way too obvious who it is. Oh, and Dan's yeah. like, just do it. And Aaron's like, no. no. Which makes me think that it was Dan's house. And Dan. Well, <laughs> Well, apparently it was when he was, like, a teenager, like, very young. Sure. And, uh, the father... Like, here's a detail that would, I would think would give it away. The father of the kid is, a uh, like, dick doctor in general, so... Oh, urologist. yeah! I remember this story now. It's, um... Yeah, that's pretty specific. There's not a lot of instances of wiggle that. room. Yeah, there ain't a lot of wiggle room there, Aaron. Mm, okay. I um, bet there are people who would be absolutely disgusted to hear what I'm about to say, but I'm using uh, iMovie to edit this. Oof. I mean, honestly, iMovie is fine. Like, here's the thing. Most... Um, editing programs, whether it's audio or video. What do I want to take out first? Uh, probably the shields. Um, like, most of them can do the same things. It's just a matter of um, the interface and how specifically well they do them. Because when you get better, better software, it can do things with a little more finesse. But mm -hmm. iMovie is good enough to get you through most stuff that you'd want to do with video editing. Like, unless you are someone who works as a video professional, 
most of the cutting and chopping that you need to do, you can do in iMovie, no problem. Yeah, I've been using it for six years or so. I'm, it's fine. Uh, five years. Why can't I use this one? Do I not have... The... What? I should be Wait, I'll say one. this. Why does that not work? I'll say this. iMovie has uh, features that I can't find in, like, other fairly basic, simple video editing. Like, hmm. just... <sighs> I, I'll put it this way. Maddie picked one for us for the Windows that we have. And okay. I can't stand it. I can't stand it. What program is it? Shotcut. Shotcut. I'm not familiar. It just never seems to work for me. Hmm. I can't even get to the like editing part of video editing with it. Oh no. Wait. So what's it even look like then? I don't know. I, it, I you'd have to look at it yourself. I'll I'll send me I'll some screenshots cuz like I'm really curious now. Yeah. It, it's pretty infuriating. No. Nope. Load that up. Okay. Normal speed. Uh shit. Oh, where, wasn't there a store here a second ago? Ah, oh, damn it. They probably shut and shut themselves down because of the encroaching horde. I. Uh oh. I once encroached in horde. Hmm. Whoop. Never mind. That's where. That's where I want them. Over there. Did I? Fight. Skip something? Hmm. Oh, I see what I did. Oh my god. Oh my god, they're taking me down so fast. Charlie, no! Get out of there. I'm watching the, the health right now. Because it's dropping fast. Yeah. Okay. I guess I send these guys back over. That guy. And then Charlie can go back in for a minute. Oof. Oh no. No. No, be gentle. That's what she said. Probably. No! Not Bovi. Oh wait, that wasn't Bovi. That was Ryan. Not Ryan. <sighs> he will be I still missed. think the best that's what she said joke ever is the word that mm -hmm. hyphenated she. Wait, that. Uh, uh, it's a formatting one. I'll have to show it to you. In yeah, text. I'm not. I'm having trouble visualizing that. There you go. I sent it on uh, Discord. Oh, god damn it! Like a quote. I got it. Mm -hmm. I got your joke. That is my favorite that's what she said joke. That's pretty solid. <coughs> Fuck, I was hoping it's to just two words. get some repairs. Uh... <sighs> Alright. Oh, man, oh, manatee. Oh, shit. Why the... <sighs> Why are my shields not... Um, not of power, but I like, uh, hold on, there? Okay. I forgot how this game works and how it works is like an asshole. The whole thing's designed to be just incredibly unfair. Oh my god, there's so much just running around in this game. Oh, totally. No like, borderline fetch quest levels of just running back and forth. Right. Speaking of back and forth, have you ever heard of a comic called Back? Uh, oh, I think so? Like, the URL is backcomic.com? Right, uh... 
Hmm. I think. What's it about? Uh, it does sound a character named a character named Abigail brought back from the dead, cowboy style clothing, uh, meant to cause the end of the world. Mm -hmm. Meets a little druid named Dave, uh, Daniel that does stuff to help her. Ah, uh, right, right, right. Shit. Hmm. It's yeah. pretty good. I think you dig it. Okay. Yeah, I uh, haven't read web comics regularly in so long. I need to get back to it. I read them every day, and my mom says that's okay. I love, I love web comics because they're web comics. Read web comics. I uh, I used to read them like all the time, but I just haven't uh, haven't had the chance in a long time. Oh, Davian, what is he a slug? You know, it's rude to call people names, Ziggy. It's a slug. What am I supposed to do, huh? Not call him a slug for one. Well, he's a slug. What can I say? Racist. Listen to me. Listen. No, support sex workers. Don't call them sluts. Mm, yes. Agreed. And what is a slug if not just a slut in a g-string? If not just a real slimy a slut. I mean, there are worse kinds of sluts, I guess. I Listen, mean... if you can be a bear, if you can be an otter, then you can be a goddamn slug. You slimy I bitch. Mean... I'm pretty sure a slimy bitch would be Rubber Ross's favorite thing in the world. Mmm, yeah. What, are you saying you're not a fan of the Goo Girls? No, I'm not, I'm not Well, here's my question, okay. When, when we're talking about Goo Girls, what do you imagine they feel like? Um, when I was a kid in second grade, my... I begged my mom for a Nickelodeon Gak. Mmm. And as soon as I got it home and opened it, the smell made me barf. Does it smell like something? I have a really bad oh, sense of smell. Oh, it stunk. Mm. It stunk horribly to me. Like, I could not handle the stink. And so, uh... Yeah, I just imagined that. Hmm. But, like, with a voice. Okay. So it's not at all something I would want to experience. That's fair enough. I mean, well, the thing is, like, if if Gak was sentient, it would be able to clean itself. Or at least, like, um, want to. If, if Gak were sentient, it would need to get some fucking Lumi before I'm willing to fucking... Get it close. Hmm. It's not. It's not a cleanliness thing. It's a smell. Sure. It, it, it smelled awful. I don't know. I I think I played around with Gak once, and I have such a bad sense of smell that even if I did smell anything, it's a long forgotten memory. I mean, it was just basically like you've probably seen like flarp before uh what like you go to a gas station and you see that oh shit edit undo deletes like have you ever gone to a gas station and you've seen that shit that, like fart putty that you can buy that you oh, stick your finger yeah, in yeah 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 it's basically the same thing in a different um uh container i suppose yeah, it's just this, a oh, horrible right, my smell. Subsystem isn't on. One of the things I like about this game, and also find frustrating, but in like an entertaining way, is how um, is how you can decide where the power goes. So you can divert power from your shields to your health bay, and vice versa. But sometimes you forget you did that, 
when it's a bad time. I dated a nurse. She was my health bay. <laughs> no hesitation on that one, huh? No, 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 no. <sighs> like, here's a chunk of game that I'm just going to have to cut because it's four in-game hours doing nothing. Yeah. Did you take my advice and write down time codes? No, because I didn't have a way to see the time codes as I was playing. Right. Like, I have TV screens for monitors. Sure. And they're at a, they're at a slight distance so that everything is legible. And the timestamps on the recording were very, very tiny font. So I couldn't see them as clearly, so I just have to scrub through by hand. Right. That's so why I was like, no, I'll do it. <laughs> and trust me, it's better off this way. Like, it really fucking is. Like, it is so much better than I'm doing this than, instead of you, because you'd be like, oh my god, oh my god, just delete all this. Oh shit, I got a robot. I got a motherfucking... What are they called in this? Well, his name is Remo. What is he? Remo the robot. Re he's an NG, which is a partly organic or entirely mechanical. It's unclear, but it's well known that they make exceptional engineers. Hmm. Accepted. Nice. Got a solid six-man crew. Or five-man crew. Oh, Still, that's better than... I usually end up with in this game, if I remember correctly. Hmm. According to Terratrox, uh, the NG are basically nanobot swarms, gray goo people. So they probably also <laughs> smell like Nickelodeon gack. No, I want to use the burst laser, take out the shields. Oof, and yeah, let's... Oh, that's weird. There's suddenly sound in the game. Oh, weird. It is Shenmue. Whoa. Wait a minute. They're also objectively the best crew in the game. Alright. According to... I can't read the name. Uh, They're Terra objectively Trucks. the best. Well, they say that whatever you were talking about was the best crew in the game. That sounds about right. Yeah, I've not played this in forever, but I do remember a few things, and um, I recall them being pretty good, and I recall the what, Mantis people being pretty good, because they can actually, like, help against invading invading intruders get beamed aboard. That's good. Shit. Shit. Take him out. Thank you. Thank you. No. Nope. Uh, I'll accept the offer. I'm going for, uh, if not exactly pacifist, a more like lax run. If they're offering me something good, then I'm going to take it. Let's see. I'm a pacifist. I'm a pacifist right through their damn head. Uh... <laughs> The only thing that, like, is semi-important that I'm cutting out of here is there are three, like, scrolls with moves on them throughout the game mm -hmm. that are hidden, uh, basically in your house that I didn't bother, like, hunting for early on. So now I'm just, like, doing all the little, like, I have to wait another day in-game and instead of just standing around doing nothing, Yeesh. I'm getting all the little things. Like, that's the thing. There's a lot of this game that's just standing around doing nothing. Right. I'm going to go out this way. According to Terratrox, um, there's the most optional options of all races with the NG, ones that only pop up as, like, a bonus. And their passive bonus doubles repair rate, which is pretty good. They're not good at hand-to-hand. -hand. Meanwhile, Mantis are actually pretty bad, but they're good for going... Uh, boarding other ships alongside Crystal Men, Rocks, and Lanius. Rocks! Those are the ones I was thinking of, actually, instead of the Mantis. My bad. 
So to give you an idea of how big this one chunk is where I'm just cutting everything for being useless, mm -hmm. right now we're sitting at a 5 hour and 16 minute video. Sure. Let's delete this. We are now at a 5 hour and 5 minute video and I'm still not done actually trimming the fat from that chunk. Oof. Yeah, it's going it's going to be a juicy one. It's weird to hear the music sped up 20 times too. <laughs> oh no. It's still I mean, you can still understand it at that speed? Yeah, actually. Huh. Yeah. Let me uh, you know what? This ought to be fun. I'm going to set it to normal speed first. Sure. And play it into the microphone from my headphones so you can hear it. Oh boy. Okay. And then I'm going to switch it over to the 20 times speed. So uh, I won't be able to hear sure. you. Are you ready? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Okay. Anytime. Hello? It should be a second. Just give it a second. Okay. Alright, that was the music at regular speed. I did not hear anything. <laughs> really? Yeah. Um, there's a possibility oh. that it's causing feedback and that uh, Discord is just oh. cutting it out automatically. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. Oh, uh, I'll just have to uh, save this chunk <laughs> to send it to you later. Sure. But it's, like, very orchestral. Da -da -na -na -na. Na, na, na. Mm. And then it sounds like a Kingdom Hearts theme when it's sped up to 20 times. Oh, yeah. Uh, it, 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 it's got I'm big Kingdom Hearts in it. Uh... Pretty close. We'll be on the edges. I'm literally oh my like. Goodness. Terra Trox has so much info. You, you can't at all um, skip time in this game. You can only just stand around and wait for it to pass. So, like, and you can't go to bed, which is the quickest way to, like, actually pass time. Uh, which allows it to become the next morning. You can't do that until 8 p.m. in game. So it's very awful just sitting around waiting for nothing to happen. Yeah. I appreciate your info, uh, Terra Trox. <laughs> I, I don't think I'm going to be able to read all of that aloud on the stream here, but it is very appreciated. I think it's really nice that, you know, Megatron is giving Terra Trox some time off to watch a stream tonight. Is that what it is? Is it a... Is it a Transformers reference? I'm pretending it is, because Terra Trox sounds like a... Transformers name to me. I can agree with that. I can't tell the Transformers apart, though. Oh, uh, I mean, some of them are more unique, but yeah, they, uh, especially the, like, classic designs, it was kind of hard to tell one from the other. That can run at normal speed. Should I leave his dream sequence? Yeah, I'm gonna leave them in, because sure. if we do decide to do Shenmue 2, they're in Shenmue 2. Oh, well, yeah. That's a no-brainer. Alright. <laughs> what are 
the characters just started at twenty or started talking at twenty times speed. Oh no. It's very funny to hear like lethal data or information given in chipmunk voice. Hmm. Mm, delay the rebels. Nice. I'm doing really good on this run. I don't think I've ever done this good at this game. Knock on wood. I mean, yeah, once once I hit the boss fight, I'm pretty much screwed, but eh, I'm doing what I can for now. So that's the cruel thing about this game. Um, I have... It's 8 o'clock in the morning, and I have to wait till noon for the next thing. Right. And so it's just me wandering around with nothing to do until noon. Hmm. Like, that's the cruel thing. It forces you to just stand around doing nothing. That was, that was the big impression I got, at least from the early bits that I played. I mean, you can speed up parts of it, but it's mostly just you standing around. Like, ugh. Yeah. Oh god, here's where the Great Shy first debuts. I wish that we could have been, like, I could have been with you and playing this with you in control when he first shows up and, like, starts a fight. Right. Because he is I terrible. Yeah, I did not get the combat system at all when I played. I could tell that, like, if I had, like, paid more attention in the little training bit, I feel like I would have done a lot better, but I just... It went over my head. Are you talking to me or... Terratrox? Talking to you about Shenmue. Uh, the training sessions are fine. Like, they're not hard. Yeah. They're just mostly, like... God, I don't even know what I'm supposed to be looking for next. Just kicking around in a parking lot. I mean, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, I know where I'm going next. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, it's, it's easy enough. I mean, it's not the hardest mixed style game, I would say. Um, I think, I would say this, I got spoiled playing Yakuza first. Sure. Like, like, having played so much of the Yakuza games, that by the time you get to this, you're just like, holy shit, this is a completely different monster. Like, right. you can see that, you can tell, because so many of the controls are the same, that it's mostly the same game. Mm, yeah. But, um... Yeah, they clearly took, like, heavy inspiration from Shenmue for the Yakuza games. Yeah, it's... Why didn't they my ship fire? Or did it, and I just didn't tell. They at least took, like, if not story and, uh, you know, format influence, they definitely took something like, um... Wait, is this something I wanted to cut? Yeah, I wanted to cut. Oh, uh, wait, the fucking drone that they have is, like, blocking all my shots. Mmm. Mmm, I get that now. I'm also cutting failed QTE events, because it just adds more time to everything. Oh, sure. I mean, if you're willing to get that granular. Like, I don't even bother uh, editing these streams, even though I know there's, like, huge pauses at the beginning and end. Partially because it's oh, just... Uh, this this would be unwatchably long if I didn't. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Like, it would be... Like, yeah, we could make fun and have fun with it and, you know, tell jokes. Right. But, uh, it would not be watchable. It would be fucking... Uh... Mind-numbing for the most... Like, we'd have to do it over several days. Oof. Yeah, not... Not too keen on that. It's not so bad. Uh, Terra Trucks, I'm pretty sure this is the third sector, if I think. Yes, yeah, this is the third one. Ooh, 
Uh, mm, mm, which do we want to do? Mm, I'm pretty good on scrap, so let's try... Ah, damn it. Nope, 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 nope. Gotta take that down. Gotta take that down. Or wait, no, I actually want to send the missile to the shields and send the laser at the weapons. Oh, I'm sure I'm behind on upgrades. I've just, I didn't get many at the very beginning. I ended up getting a lot of crew members, but, um, uh, yeah, I didn't have, I didn't have much scrap when I got to the shops. And as you can see, I have a ton of scrap now. So when I hit a shop, I'm going to upgrade a lot of stuff. this, do that. Whoops, missed with the ion blast. Let's try that again. Damn, missed twice. Okay, let's hit the shields with the Artemis there. So, uh, I'm, wait, 50, 50 on which upgrade? Because, like, it also depends, or wait, no, you're probably talking about the ship, like, in here. That's a fair point. Yeah, I have really been neglecting this. I Honestly, it's been so long since I played this, I completely forgot about this area. So, I'm going to load up a ton of shit. Let's see. So, uh, here's a question. You ever have like a classmate or somebody you can't stand, but they like marry a friend of yours or something, and so you just gotta like either play nice or like be honest. I can't fucking stand you. Yeah. Uh, I've had to do that twice. Like, there were two people that I took like actually like three times. Um, Corey and I had a friend in high school named Ben. Mm-hmm. Uh, and Ben made friends with this guy that I just could not stand. Hated this guy. I'm not going to out the guy's name. But, you know, he was a friend of Ben's. And that's fucking, I guess, important enough for this story. But could not stand this other friend. Um, so, and he knows it. And he knows why. Like, it's... Fuck, what's the piling upgrade? Uh... Oh, I didn't need that if I had a crew member in there, huh? Whoops. I fucked up a little bit. <laughs> Damn it, Iggy. <laughs> but, like, one of them... Oh, well, I'm doing I just, okay. Like, I, I dislike this one guy that, like, fucking sexually assaulted a friend of mine, like... Which, as well you should. Right. And he wound up marrying another friend of mine. I'm like, hmm. you were friends yeah. with the third friend. Like, you know what he did. Really? And it wasn't like, it wasn't like, oh, that was ten years ago, or, oh, you know... No, it was like, within a year they started dating. Yikes. Knowing what I was like, man, what a fucking shitty friend you've turned out to be. You know, like, fucking pissed me off. Um, God, see, this is another point where I have to, like, fucking just sit around and do nothing for, like, a day while I wait for like some two uh, 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 this storyline to finish. Level two doors. What does that do for me? Hmm. Two door. Two open. Uh. Oh, we I do got... have the best character in the game with audio, though. That's good. Tom. No. Oh, I hope I did get Tom audio, because he is Tommy Wiseau. Like, I am convinced that well... Tom is played by Tom. So. I feel like part of why that is is because similar to Tommy Wiseau, it's just a weird mishmash of cultures. Because Tom is clearly 
an American doing an English, it or if not an American, like someone doing an English dub of a Japanese person trying to be like a Rastafarian. Yeah. So there's just so many layers to it that it's like, what what is this? And it's not well done. And like, no, that, that's the other thing. Yeah, it's poorly done. So even if that was done perfectly, it would be weird. Yeah, it very, very feels like you're listening to Tommy Wiseau. Mm-hmm. That rat bastard. What a funny story, Rio. Uh... Hmm. I gotta say, I feel like Disaster Artist was, like, the perfect swan song for, uh... For the room in general like that just it puts a cap on all of it there's not really much more that we could ever get from from it than that final expose executive decision Iggy hmm. the first day of driving the forklift yeah I actually glitch it so hard I get stuck in uh, 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 the boxes right do I leave that in for a little bit, or do I cut it all out? Ah, uh, oh, fuck, I can't actually close that shit, because it is the doors. Well, Devin, give it a shot. Oh, boy, or Davian. Nope, hopping out, switching in. Oh, yeah, why am I not using my NG to begin with? That's like their whole thing. Boy, and the health bay. I made a I made a bad move on that. Close all doors. Okay. Once it gets up above, yep. Hop in there. You know what? I'm gonna leave it in for like the first couple of seconds. Mm-hmm. And then I'm just gonna like speed through it. So instead of cutting it, it'll just be sped up. NG the NG in the shield. You know, that's probably a good idea. So I'm gonna move the NG to the shield. Charlie over to the cameras. Davian can go over there. I'm actually gonna move uh, Charlie and Bovi into the med bay real quick. Just a brief second. Okay, they're good. And then I will move them over. Uh, save. There we go. That's a fair point. I probably could do more with the Mantis, but as it stands now, ooh. Uh, do, will I have time to do the distress and then the store? I'm going for it. No, oh, it's risky. Ugh. Mm, do I have enough fuel? Yeah, I'll give them some fuel. Ah! Okay, upgrade the reactor. That's pretty good. Uh, oh, and I have enough to do that. I'm gonna hit up the store to see if I can at least get some repairs. Mm. That sounds good. What? <laughs> I said that sounds good. What sounds good? Hit the store, get repairs. Mm, yeah. We may have to split this over Saturday and Sunday. I mean, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm fine with doing like a two part stream on it. I mean, I'm cutting out a lot. So, how about this? If it goes over uh, five hours total in the end, we'll um, we'll split it over two days. Hmm. Right. Uh, and if it doesn't, then we'll call it, you know... Yeah. All in one day. Um... Hmm... Well, I will save some upgrades for now. That... Listen... I recognize that it's a waste, but I can't afford drone control right now. Uh, reverse ion field. Oh, there's nothing I can get on this page. 
Listen, God. if it's not obvious by now, I'm not very good at this game, and I haven't played it in a long time, so <laughs> recognize, recognize my fealty. Fealty? Is that right? Touchy feely? Feeling. Check out the moon. Oh, sweet, 39 scrap. Perfect, and there's another store right here. Maybe that'll give me something good. I need supplies, though. I wish I, is there a way to sell the drone parts? Because I feel like I should be, I have too many. Hmm, drone control, 75, fuck. Oh, I'm so close. Uh, I'm so close to the thing. Mm. Damn. <sighs> and it. Do I what? Um. Drone control. I. I need four. Four. Oh, ooh. Ooh, weapons. Hmm. Hmm. Well, that has to not have a shield. Empty sections of hull. Can't do drones yet. Gotta love video game logic where you beat the bad guys at a motorcycle race that they challenge you to. And they're like, oh, you really bested me that time. I'll let you live for now. Like, <laughs> no, they're just gonna snap your neck and throw you in the harbor. Like, that's, that's what they do. That's why they're bad yeah. guys. I really should get more weapons. I had more, but I sold a bunch of them. Let's just rip through their shields as best we can. Oh, I should Six. leave. Oh, him. I should have bought fuel. Damn. Should be okay. Fair warning, I don't get a single uh, first place win in any of the forklift races. Wow. Like, I don't get better than third. Like, ever. Even, what? <laughs> is In it the possible then? Because like, if you can't do that, I don't see how. I've never been good at the racing, huh. because the other racers fucking cheat. Well, how does it? Is it like a standard racing game style thing, or is like yeah, they, does it have weird controls? It's the same controls as like the forklift driving, but they okay. bump you into walls and shit. And you mm. just get stuck for a few minutes, right. and it's god awful. Ah, shit! I didn't mean to click that. Oh, it sucks. Is my point. Certainly. <clears throat> I hope that this is not too aggravating a run for you, Terra Trucks, because I can tell. <laughs> That you clearly know this game real well, and I'm... Not good? I'm doing pretty bad. I mean, I'm doing better than I've ever done, but I'm sure by, like, the standards of someone who plays it a lot, I'm not doing great. I'm making some pretty dumb decisions. The first step towards not sucking is admitting that you suck. So... Terra Trox says, you're the dragon of Dojima, wasting time by racing forced glyphs. Why would it not be weird and bad? Uh, you're not the dragon of Dojima in Shenmue. That's in Yakuza. Um, oh, right. That, uh, I get why you thought that, but, uh, no, no, no. This is a spiritual successor, mm -hmm. not, not the actual successor. Should I, what should I raise? Uh. Terra Trucks, what should I upgrade? I got 92 scrap. Why did you suddenly turn into Christopher Walken? What? What should I raise? I've got 92 scrap. I don't know. My brain needed to catch up. Third shield. How many is that going to be? 100? Got it. Ooh, uh. Yeah, I should be okay. I'm gonna hop right back out of there. Oh no. Oh boy, uh. 
gonna send somebody over, so let me hit him with that real quick. Then I will hit their shields as soon as I can. Stop, stop! Nope. Mantis versus Mantis fight. Let's do it. I will tell you, the last two fights in this game are the fucking hardest fights. Like, you just fucking fight 70 dudes, but you have to beat 70 dudes, and then you fight, like, fucking shit ton, like, the hardest fucking fight in the game. And they put in fucking, like, quick time events to just really fuck you over. It's the worst. Woof. Yeah, that sounds pretty awful. Holy shit, I... apparently... Terra Trucks. Uh, shit, my Mantis died. Did they? Yes. Damn. I wish I'd read that first. Fuck. <laughs> Terra Trucks has 4,000 plus hours in this game, apparently. So, yeah. This is like how there's the chess masters that keep commenting on Game Grumps and being like, oh, well, you're doing like this and that. Wrong. It's like, oh, okay. I. I have nothing to do but agree. Yeah, like, we suck, we get it. Yeah. Uh, like, well, I should put the engine okay. back in the O2, because if it doesn't get fixed, not much I'm doing. Uh, they're at the level of somebody streak, if you've ever heard of them. Cobalt <laughs> streak. Uh, I, it sounds familiar, but I'm not sure. Um, here's a question, Terra Trox. How do you feel about Into the Breach, their other game? Are you a fan? Also, I'm cutting out every bit of forklift driving that isn't story-driven or plot-heavy in the future. Because, sure. holy shit, there's so much of it. Right. And All right, like let's after heal. the oh. first time you watch, like the first time you watch, the races are really neat. Afterwards, they're mind-numbing. Yeah. I don't even know if I want to leave this part. I'm cutting out the people teaching me moves because it's not that fucking important. But then we get voices. So. Hmm. Mm. Uh, hmm. Oh, I think I'm good. What did he say? Fair enough. I mean, um, as far as Into the Breach goes, it's like, that is more of a grid-based strategy. And, like, that's something I generally prefer more as a game. Although, I'm also pretty bad at those. I usually get to a certain point in the story mode and I'm like, I don't understand how economies work. Please, please help. Shit, I have to make a choice. Andrew, should I save the Mantis or the Zoltan? You don't mess with the Zoltar. I'll take Mantis then, I guess. Let's find out how bad of a decision that was from Terra Trox in just a second. When the leg catches up. Yeah. Um, they don't have boarding. I was making an Adam Sandler joke. Oh, I'm aware. Did you know that's a pa it's apparently based on an actual guy? Apparently there's no right answer. Okay, so... I feel slightly better about that. I made a decision in two that are not good. You did okay, Iggins. Well, I had the third option of not doing it at all, which I'm guessing was probably a better option. Yeah. Shit. Shit, why does my... Oh, because I'm out of missiles. Damn. Damn, no more missile. Hopefully I run into a store soon. Hmm. 
I'm literally gonna I'm gonna leave the footage in, but I'm gonna speed it up four thousand percent. Nice. Because there is no reason to watch him drive this forklift all day. Yeah. It's really not that entertaining. Like, playing it is wonderful. Watching it is mind-numbing. Huh, that's interesting. Uh, Terratrox said that Mantis usually have, uh, they tend to board your ship, but in this case, oh, fuck. Oh, no, I can't get out of the way. Ah, ah, run towards the exit. Um, but, like, they didn't even have boarding capabilities in that fight. Oh, my God, I am not prepared for this. Ooh, boy. I am cracking up over the fact that, like, sped up the forklift driving looks like a really shitty music video because Rio never moves from the center of the screen. Oof. So it looks like one of those videos where somebody's just standing perfectly still while the oh, world's shit, shit, around them. Shit, nope, not you. Nope, nope, you. Get in there, kick his ass. Get in my ass with that foot! Oh, there's two guys in here. Oh, no. Oh, Give no, I'm two. so not prepared for this. This was a bad fucking move. You can't take two guys at once, Iggy? Listen, I'm scaled. It's difficult. Oh, you can handle two guys, Iggy. I'm very scaled. You can handle two guys. Please, please no. I have faith. I have faith in you, Iggy. You, you can handle you can handle three guys. Panic. Panic and deception. You can handle all the guys you need. Oh, that's right. I can run from a fight. Okay, I'm going to hang on to it as soon as... I'm going to run as soon as I can. Um. But, yeah. Uh, I got to wait for the FTL to charge up. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh no, oh no. Gotta get the NG up there. Gotta fix that ASAP. Ooh, that's not good. Nope, 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 nope. You're not allowed to come over. Nope. Denied. Don't come over. My parents said you can't come over. You're not invited. They threw out my Nintendo. You ever have that friend as a kid who, like, you were only friends with them because they had really cool games? I had friends that had the really cool games. Yeah. The problem was I hated the systems. Oh. I was that kid that went straight from loving the Super NES and only the Super NES to loving the PlayStation and only the PlayStation. Hmm. Right. So my one friend had a Sega Genesis, could not care right. less. And by the way, oh no, controversial oh statement. no, oh god, oh. Controversial statement time. I yeah, hate the Sonic games. They, I'll be honest, yeah, they honest. I don't think I've ever been really satisfied by any specific Sonic game. And they're not well, like the level design sucks. Like, yeah. we got... Fuck. What was the free... Oh, no, we took those guys with us. Oh, fuck. I did not realize that was an option. <laughs> what was the free PS Plus game a couple weeks ago, that, or a couple months ago, that was the Sonic game? Oh, Sonic that Mania. Was... That's the one that's, like, the fan-made remake that is, is official, yeah. but it was made by fans. Oh, but my God. Like, nope, nope. Like the old ones. No, everything's gone tits up. Oh, God. Oh, God, this is horrible. Andrew... Andrew, remember me? No. Ah! But, like, there's that's no way. There's too many fucking guys. I. Uh, okay. Desperation tactic. Uh. Okay, we're gonna do something here. It's really dumb. I'm going to move all of my guys into the med bay and then open all of the other doors so that. so that they can't come in. So you know how uh, the air will run game, out. You know how that game very faithfully recreated the old retro Sonic style. Yeah. Uh, I had Maddie play it, and she, I and I quote said, 
Oh my god, what is this? This isn't game design. What is this? Well, yeah, that's the thing is that, like, you... The game design, it's like... It implies that you're supposed to go through it very quickly. Gotta go fast. But that ends up not being, like, what... Um, it happens at all. Yeah, no, like, it's not really designed that way at all. And Fuck. here's the thing. Fuck. Oh, God. The level, the level design... Like, the actual world layout sucks. Right. It sucks in those old games. You Like, nothing ever makes sense when I play a Sonic game. It, like, nothing. I, I mean, I played the I, original a lot because, like, I just had it as a kid. No! My NG! He's gone. Oh, I can close my doors now. Because everybody's dead. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, they yeah, haven't yeah, taken out my... They haven't taken out my oxygen, at least. I know, Coco. It's all about the furry art. I, I know. And the impreg and the inflation. I, I know it's not about the game, but, like, fucking... No! Dark they're dark. in my engines! Uh, hold on. Hold on. I gotta fucking do something about these guys. Oh, my God. This game is so stressful. No! Mantis! Oh, I'm, I'm just fucking done. There's no way I'm surviving this, but I'm just gonna t do it out to the bitter end. Captain goes down with the ship. That face when every crew death has been due to negligence. Listen, I'm not, they didn't ask if I knew how to fly a ship first. They didn't even check my license. They were just like, hey, you like spaceships? And I was like, yeah. And they're like, here you go. And I'm like, I didn't ask for this. I just answered your question, please. Is this your proudest moment? No. This is this uh, is you. Why can't I go back to playing Banjo Tooie? I know that game. This one's hard. This oh, my Iggy, ship exploded. Iggy, Iggy, this is you. You have to embrace this. This is your playing. Like this is all you, Iggy. I got a new high score, at least. So that's something. Three points. <laughs> it's 1522. I don't know what that means in Not context. Much. I gotta say, this compression brace is working really well. It's not one of the ones with straps. It's basically just like a sock. Um, but like, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling no wrist strain. The local CBD dispensary sells CBD infused like knee and elbow braces. That sounds unnecessary. Yeah, I was debating getting one, and I was just like, eh. I almost got, they had, like, a cooling brace, but it was, like, four times as expensive, and I was like, I'll just go with this one for now. Here's the thing. You can recreate that easily by, before you put on the brace, every time, put on some, like, Tiger Balm, and then, right. um, when, once you do, oh, this um... This is different. I thought I unlocked type B. Eventually, it will just absorb a lot of the Tiger Bomb every time you put it on. So. Mmm, right. The exception is hard difficulty, where the RNG will grind your face into the ground. I'll just tape a sandwich bag full of ice to the outside of the brace. That's, I mean, that's also acceptable. I'm, like, only now getting into the level of working out where... I'm starting to be somewhat injured. Because, like, I've been working out since... I mean, off and on throughout my life, but, like, this specific stint, I've been working out pretty heavily since, like, last October? I want to say? Do we need to go back to the crazy push-ups? I've considered it, but I'm trying to pace myself. Because last... The thing is, I had to take a break through most of January... Because I ended up, like, really hurting my shoulder, and I couldn't work out for a while. Mm. Alright. <laughs> I may leave this cutscene in sped up the oh, way shit. it is right now. Because uh, it's just really funny to hear a bunch of chipmunks beating on a guy. Right. Uh... Oh, according to Teratrox, I should be using Advanced Edition. So I'm just going to restart this and turn that on. Since I was only on the first bit anyways. Alright. Yeah. Like, there were 
there was a point in this game where I was super salty with how it was going. And just like walked away for an hour or so. So a lot of this recording here is just me walking away salty and angry. What? Oh, God. Ah, oh, I already lost a crew member. What the fuck? Suicide. <sighs> no, I ran into a mining colony that had like a disease. And I guess they caught it. Ugh. All right, let's attack these slavers. At normal speed, the clip I'm about to remove constituted 11 minutes. Holy shit. Of me failing at a fight, like, and then getting salty and walking away for like an hour. Right. Or I guess 11 minutes. Yikes, holy shit, I'm immediately doing awful. That first run was kind of decent. Oh, I was kind of decent. Like, that's what you want to hear, right? Oh, man. A yeah. Ago, I was yeah. Decent. Uh, well, I'm probably going to lose pretty quick. I don't think I'll even get through the sector with only two guys. So, oh, well, hmm. Now, here's a conundrum. I can get a brand new guy from these slavers in exchange for sparing them. But they are slavers. Are they life slavers? No. I, like I mean, they're slaving life. lives. I like technically. <laughs> I like the gummy lifesavers they chew eat. I want to figure out the recipe for, like, actual gummy candy. All right, I'm not doing this. every YouTube tutorial is making jello in a mold, and that's not a gummy candy. No. I mean, the, the best ones contain gelatin, but they also contain Karanuba wax. The ones that are really good and chewy are the ones that contain Karanuba wax. Well, there's something else. I believe corn syrup plays a role. Maybe. I'm telling you, that, that Karanuba, like, it really helps. I'm convinced that corn syrup and corn starch play a role in the really good ones. Mm. As Terra Truck says, Yeah, they're slavers, but you need crew, so who cares? Being nice is in the cards in this game. And, yeah, I took them. I feel bad about it, though. Yeah. I don't like it when a game doesn't give you, like, like when a game forces you to do something immoral in order to win. Oh, sure. Well, it didn't force me. It just would have been more difficult if I went without. I should have let my shields be repaired before I I jumped. Whoops. Oh, no, and they have a, a, a confused, a confusey. Mind control. No! You know, I might actually get this in under five hours, all told. No, stop. My guy got mind controlled and now he's attacking our own shields. Also, by the way, Teratrox, when you play as the Dragon of Dojima, at one point you are absolutely a taxi driver who just drives people around. So, hmm. that is a thing. Is it, what is, okay, so I get that the plot is you are a person in the Yakuza doing or, stuff effectively but like what's the overall plot of the game which one because there are a bunch well uh, let's just start with the the basic vanilla first one uh so you're not actually in the yakuza anymore so what? it's after you've already retired um mm, oh no. no so no it's not the only move, one where you actually play as a member of the Yakuza, in Yakuza, is the prequel game. Um, and even then, like, you kind of... Was there not a fucking... Okay, I need to split. Oh no, oh no. Oh no. This is bad, this is very bad. Oh, and he's mind controlled, I can't get him out of there! No, get out of there! No! No! I already lost another guy. Oh, 
Oh my god, this is hideous. Hmm. I'm playing uh, the video footage at 3,000% speed. Yeah. Because I have to scrub through like a 17 minute chunk of my second mm -hmm. shift. No, let's. Before we jump. And normally during your second shift of the day, like after your lunch shift, you have a cutscene. And I'm like, where's the cutscene? Right. I guess there wasn't one, so I can cut out an entire. Let's see how much, how slow, or how long this is at normal speed. Mm -hmm. uh, or, wait, where? 11 minutes. Ooh. 11 minutes to just get gone. Like, that's kind of what this game is for the most part, is just killing hours of time while you wait for, like, basically, uh, cutscenes to trigger later that are triggered by time passing. Terratrox says, uh, considering that this run is already in trouble, do you want to see something funny? Go to the tutorial. Okay. Uh, can I get to the tutorial from here, or do I have to back out? Looks like I gotta back out. Okay. Eh. Main menu. Tutorial. Welcome to FTL. You are the captain of a Federation starship on a very important mission. Continue. The Federation is currently being torn apart by vicious rebels. Your shit. Oh yeah, that's the other thing about this game. It's basically Star Wars, but you're on the Empire side. I. It's implied so... that the rebels are bad here, but it's also perspective. I don't know. Yeah, like here's the thing. In the original Star Wars movies, they never really make you feel like the Rebels are the good guys. Yeah. Like, they don't actually do anything heroic. Like, one side is literally just the government, and we're never shown, even in the prequels, why they're a bad government or anything. Right. Like, I you mean, never see... Well... Name one thing they do that isn't, uh, that is proactive, that is evil. They blow up Alderaan and kill millions of people. Because Alderaan did shit at first. Like, they were. That's uh, not how that works. They weren't I'm killing not, people. Not in America, but in that government, that's how it works. Like, they knew what risks they were getting into when they started a fight with the government. They fought the law, and the law won. Like, I'm not condoning it. I'm just saying they were within legal, like, we're, with that exception, you never see the fucking Empire do anything evil, ever, unless they're first attacked. Every time. Mm -hmm. Even in the prequels. And then what do you see the Jedi do almost immediately? Mind control like oh the force you or the dark side uses force lightning you fucking take away people's free will asshole look at episode one where uh qui-gon jinn tries to get Watto to sell him apart with uh credits and yeah. Qui or Watto's like credits don't work and he's like credits will work he's like ah ha ha you piece of shit like your jedi mind control doesn't work on me it's not a mind tr it's mind control and, like, I'm not saying... Well, they also because... imply... I mean, I feel like they forgot it, but, um... Yes, um, I agree, Kirk. But the Rebels killed just as many people. They did not blow up a whole uh, planet's worth of people. One million people died on the Death Star. That is the canon... Uh, number okay, of but there were millions. Like, Obi-Wan says that millions... Of voices were snuffed out. And how many... How many people, like... Have the rebels killed that weren't Luke, Leia, and Han? Because that's all we follow. How many people on the second Death Star? How many people on Endor? Uh, Luke just attacked uh, people on that Hoth planet for no, no reason. I... Uh, um, I don't know, man. I get the feeling... Uh, this, excuse this... me, Hoth, because I'm about to ruin your day on Hoth. 
Luke was absolutely wrong on Hoth. Um, let's see. Because it's fucking dark, what uh, happened on Hoth. Because uh, it was just on the other day. Uh, basically that, like, Yeti with horns. Perfectly innocent. And it's dark. What? Oh, yeah. But he... No. He was gonna eat Luke. Even Mark Hamill is disgusted by the way that scene played out when he finally I saw I mean, it. yeah, it's a little much, but it was also trying to show the fact that there was some element of the dark side in Luke. Mm -hmm. Like it was foreshadowing. I gotta he say the, the like, uh, I don't know, like. It was edited to make Luke look a a lot worse and he is not happy about it uh let me see ah here we go here we go uh oh the death star was a sentient uh person by the way wait was it uh, yeah how's that between work? ig88 is vader's bounty hunter the one that looks like a coal furnace ig88 between... yeah between Empire and Jedi, he uploads his consciousness to a drive that's then plugged into the second Death Star. In the final battle, he plays along with the Imperials, but he ultimately wait, plans... Wait, 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 though. Is He's that, in, is that in a novel? Because they have retconned that everything pri outside of the movies prior to the release of Episode 7 is not canon. Let me check. Uh... Let me check. Uh, short story, Therefore I Am, The Tale of IG-88. Doesn't matter. Still fucking happened. You can whine about it later. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's see. I, I'm uh, told that there's something, there's something funny if I let everybody die from space here in the tutorial. R2-D2? R2-D2 sabotaged a droid so that it would die and they would pick him instead uh, back when Luke and his uncle were picking the droids at the beginning of the movie. The one that blows up, R2-D2 sabotaged. I find, I don't know. Because, like, the thing is, like, while it was never that subtle, like, the Empire, especially the early inklings of it, in Revenge of the Sith were cartoonishly evil. Anakin just slaughtered a room full of kids. So, the Wampas are intelligent, and the Rebel Alliance took their land and hunted them for sport. I repeat, the Wampas were intelligent, the Rebels took their land and hunted them for sport. That's... Mark Hamill... Mark Hamill was horrified by the unnecessary cruelty Luke showed the Wampa in the film, which was created in a sneaky edit without his knowledge. Sure. But, you know, you know, the bad guys are the ones that are keeping order in the galaxy. So, okay. the joke that Terra Trox was leading me to here is, uh, if you die in the tutorial, it says, Game over. Somehow you've died during the introduction training exercise. Feel free to try again, but this doesn't bode well for your mission. So I yeah, just, I'm just mm. I'm just pointing out here that you know the rebels did some really fucked up shit. Well, yeah, and, but like, and yet we're supposed to cheer for them as well, if they're the heroes. It's Despite ambiguous. The fact it's oh, ambiguous yeah, it's, morality. Yeah, it doesn't I mean, have to be fully. They just stole native land, hunted the natives for sport, used mind control to get their way, and tell everyone that the other side is evil. That doesn't sound anything like Trump. Okay, you can take literally any group or any character from any movie and find the handful of bad things they've done and argue that. That's not that's not deep criticism. That is just like pointing out. Uh, cherry picking examples for your own specific did, like did Darth argument. Vader, did Darth Vader when he blew up Alderaan hunt them for sport like one by one? 
No, he just blew up a planet full of rebels that were actively trying to destabilize the government. It was not full of rebels, it was full of civilians. There were a handful of rebels in one specific... Not even on... No, 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 wait, Alderaan was just her home planet. There may have been rebels on it, but the vast majority of people on there were civilians. <laughs> Let me point out, I don't give a shit one way or the other. I am just winding you up. I'm just saying I'm frustrated because this is the kind of clickbaity like argument that like Ben Shapiro uses. Oh yeah, no, I'm absolutely just being a dick. Yeah. Like both sides are equally bad. It's not even that they're equally bad. It's that like the the empire is actively oppressing people and like then when we move on the remnants of it become the first order that take child slaves and turn them into oh, yeah. child soldiers. I'm not saying either side is the good guy in this. I am saying they're both shitty, shitty groups. And Certainly. I'm not gonna sit here and stand on the side of the one that's like, oh, by the way, we, we're we good because we don't use mind, like, we use mind control. Like, that's automatically bad guy status, like, period. Full stop. Sure. Like, that is, immediate bad guy status but you don't get away with fucking mind control and saying oh we're the good guys like, no you're immediately the bad guy you are automatically the bad guy in that situation wait terratrex you don't consider the empire the space nazis the oh no they're definitely space nazis yeah they're actively designed to look like nazis, the nazis. their foot soldiers are called stormtroopers for a reason. Yeah, it's intentionally, like, invoking Nazism. Yeah. For they're absolutely... My point is that looking at the Jedi as the opposite... They're not. They're really, really not. Um, they're... They're terrible people, too. This is not, like, the real world, where, like, right now you've got, like... Oh, both sides... I'm sure there are fine people on both sides... No, fuck that shit. Antifa all the way. The rebels are not Antifa. They are do what we say or else. Unlike the other bad guys who say do what we say or else. Like they are they are the same thing, just no no no. We want to be in charge. Why aren't we in charge? Like it, it's I bad. just find I don't know. Not... I feel I find it to be a disingenuous argument because like it, it... You could find, like, yeah, I could certainly take time and pick out the examples that support a specific predetermined, like, idea of them. But, like, if we're going to look at that, literally any group, like, rebellious group or, like, group of heroes from any movie can be considered evil. Like, the Goonies could be considered evil if you work it out. Uh, the Indiana Jones, pretty much any group that he's been in, could be considered evil. Oh, you mean the white guy that comes in and steals uh, cultural items and runs off with them? Yeah. And yes, that that one, I will admit, like, that one is, is pretty abhorrent. But it's also or, like, because... racist depiction of, like, everyone in those movies that isn't white? Yes. Or, like, true. You know, also, All the stuff that isn't him punching Nazis in general, like everything also, else. Also, it was specifically designed to evoke a, a specific genre, but that genre Which, was already well dated by the 80s when they started making those movies. Yeah, that doesn't make it better. Like, I'm not saying oh, it makes I'm it better. Just... What I'm saying is that like it was a flawed premise to begin with because they were emulating something that already was kind of offensive. Oh, yeah, and so by yeah. today's standards, like... It's shocking that that got made. Is it really, though? Mm -hmm. uh, I what? wish it was more shocking, I guess I should say. I wish we could have more faith in media, but unfortunately, no. Like, the, the, my thing with... Uh, um, Star Wars comes down to it's never like one side is clearly the better side because like literally the one side is we rule with an iron fist the other side is we rule through thought control 
both are equally wrong. Like, they're equally intolerable. We would not accept that from anything else today. Like, you would not hear somebody like, oh, you know what I really like is that guy that tells me how to think. Like, that's why we dislike Rush Limbaugh and Ben Shapiro. They are the fucking Jedi here. And then you've got the fucking, like, dictators at the top. Like, it just so happens that this time they disagree. They're not, neither, like, neither side is the heroic side that, um, you know, the story. Trucks, something you need to understand. When it comes to the Nazis, and specifically the Nazis of World War II that the Empire is based on, the vast majority of them were not actively evil people. They were foot soldiers who had been civilians who were just doing regular military duties and governing. Like, yeah, overall the like statements of the Nazis, very evil. But on a one-to-one -one basis, they are actively what like the Empire was. They were just regular people working for an evil force. Yeah. I mean, for there's examples of people who were The Empire is not <laughs> neutral, Teratrox. It's so cartoonishly uh, evil, my guy. Yeah, I, they're definitely bad guys. I gotta but, yeah, no, I really gotta I, I I can agree with some stuff, but no, the Empire is not neutral. The, like they choke their own fucking people when they disagree, they blow up entire planets like I was winding Iggy up with that shit. Like, no, they're definitely evil. Yeah, and, and even, not even uh, including the Sith. No, 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 even Grand Moff Tarkin was the one who gave the order to blow up Alderaan. A lot of the people there are not Sith. Like, yeah, it's the yeah. people the, that are running it are cartoonishly exactly. evil, but they're like, the group itself is cartoonishly evil because of that. You are, your group is informed by who is running you. In fact, a lot of members of the group don't even believe the Sith exist anymore. They're like, you know, Lord Vader, yo, that's why the guy gets choked out in that first movie in the first place is he doesn't believe in the Jedi. Like, people literally rage. Yes, Wouldn't yes, years? thank you. One over two, thank you for coming in. The dudes running it are the Empire, though. Correct. Yeah. It doesn't matter what the Everett ge di Day guy is doing within it. It's about... Who's running it is what informs what it is. Yeah. These are the and kind of politics I can get behind. The ones where we talk about the politics in movies, because then nobody gets upset because it's just the movies. Well, unless it's George Lucas trying to make a commentary on real world politics. I mean, it's shocking how, like, potent some of that is. Uh, I mean, he, bless him, he tries. He's not good at it. Well, there are moments. Like, specifically the moment when they give up all power to Palpatine. And, um, and, uh, what that was, was it? What is it that, uh, Padme says? This is how democracy dies, not with a bang, but with thunderous applause. Yeah. And people like to play that clip right before they show, like, Trump rallies. And, yeah, I get it. Yeah. Wait. Although yeah. it was specifically like echoing um the Patriot Act. Yeah. And the thing is, people like to say, "Oh, these movies were, you know, in response to George Bush." Like, no they weren't because the first one came out before him. Like he was not president before the first movie came out. He wasn't even elected yet. Like he was not the subject of the whole series he may have been the inspiration for later but he was not the first well i'm pretty fight. sure that scene occurs in revenge of the sith which did happen after his first term right it's definitely not in oh yeah uh, Phantom it's in Menace. the last movie it's in the yeah. last movie yeah so at that point like they kind of retrofitted um palpatine to be basically uh if not bush at least the bush administration yeah it, it's it's a stretch, but like it, the whole thing is people say, oh, Shit. it started uh, off meant to be when it started mm -hmm. off, it was meant to be that the whole time. But like, no, it really wasn't. He was not meant to be like it started. It's just like when people say the Civil War was about states rights and no, it wasn't because 
I don't know if you know this, South Carolina seceded from the Union before Lincoln was president. Mm. South Carolina fired the first shots in the war. They, like... Lincoln was elected, yes, he was president-elect, and mm. there's a grace period before you're actually president. Right. In which he was, uh, you know, that's when all the shit really went down. And so, that's the thing, is... He... <sighs> So the South, and my favorite thing is, uh, the war was about states' rights. Which one? Like, tell me. Which, specify which, which rights? Was it the right to peacefully assemble? No, that can't be it, because we're still doing that. Was it the right to, I don't know, own guns? No, you still own guns here in the South. Plenty of them. Uh, yeah. So what was And what it's act was, it's actively uh, just ignoring that one of the, uh, the, one of the driving forces behind the Civil War, one of the people on the Confederate side directly said it is over slavery. Which is paraphrasing, yep. but there is a quote of to that effect. Yep. Yeah. And so, like, mm. yeah, it's the same kind of bullshit. Like, oh, uh, you know... Ah. <laughs> I don't know. I'm leaving this part in because this fucking cracks me up. Oh, god damn it. Like, this is... More fucking mind control. This is the only second shift I'll leave in because it cracks me up that Rio apparently killed a guy. And it just goes back to driving in. And you know, I just had so much fun, like, honking the horn. Like, meep, meep. That's fucked it's up, dude. A... It's really funny. Wait, Wait it just looks like... Doors. Shit. Like, it Shit. just looks like Rio is just like, enough of this, snaps a dude's neck, it's like, eat me. Like, it fucking killed me. I, I laughed so hard when no, that happened. No, no, my engine. My Holy engine. Shit. Oh god, I'm doing nothing. I should save these missiles. Have you checked out any of Snowpiercer yet? Uh, the show? Yeah. I saw the movie, and to which I was like, what could they really do with the show? Because they already oh. pretty much covered most of it, but um, I watched the like the beginning of the first episode after the, Dynamite the... one time. It's a cop show. It's a cop show. Yeah. No. Yeah. Uh. And apparently, it wasn't originally gonna be. Right. And that's the sad thing, like, from what I heard of the original premise for the show, it was actually going to be really neat, and then they fucking just said, nah, let's not do that. Yeah, that really defeats a lot of the ideas from the movie. Yeah. And from what I understand, I've not seen the movie, and I'm not going to watch the show, mm. but from what I understand of the show, like, the show sounds awful. Like, and the movie sounds like dumb like the movie does not sound good it's well i'll say it's not subtle for sure i enjoyed it but yeah especially for you because you you have trouble with symbolism um like yeah there's a it's it's pretty much all allegory for society so well like it's not good allegory though like if it if the symbolism is deep enough that even i fucking get it like, oh, Teratrox mentions, I kind of wish they did the Jar Jar Binks uh, Sith Lord thing more. That's pretty much all just a fan theory, I'm pretty sure. I mean, it's a fan theory that fits, but... It fits, but yeah. Honestly, though, I feel like if they had, if somebody had had the idea, they definitely would have put that in. It's still, if th that's why it's such a good fan theory, because it fits tonally with the rest of the, the movie. Yeah, and it fits with what happens like up to that point the problem is you're expecting george lucas to be that damn good yeah well that's the and... thing is that even the best star wars movies aren't george lucas he didn't like um empire oh, yeah. strikes back he didn't direct that one 
he came nope. up with the universe and stuff, but like, yeah, that that wasn't him. Um, and you can always tell the ones he's heavily involved in because they're the worst. Yeah. Nope, that's not enough. Shoot. Uh, let's see, I already got that. Uh, doors. I should do doors. All any of y'all really need to know about the like forklift driving that I'm cutting out. Aww. So I'm real. Is that I'm really, really good at it. Um, God, we might keep this under four hours. Well, I'm going to say it retroactively makes Jar Jar Binks a decent character, maybe. But eh, he's still pretty bad. It's, it's still pretty racist. Oh, yeah. It, th that first movie is super racist. Oh, yeah. Like, Guado, um... Yeah. Or whatever it is. Like, ew, there's a lot in that movie that, you know, that's just a yikes for me, dog. Like, that movie had a lot of problematic shit in it. One over two says, I heard that during the prequels, George Lucas had trouble getting told his dumb ideas are dumb. Yeah, he had way too much Pretty power much. on those ones, and that's why they ended up being kind of crap. And he's not great at that like he's really really bad at <laughs> like the sec the first movie he had a hand in and that's why luke and leia kiss at whatever point um by the third movie yeah. though like by the second movie he was not in control anymore he was just basically handing it off to people yeah he might have like had some creative input but he was not doing any of the heavy lifting no. In general, and like, he's not the worst. Like, originally? Like, he's not Joel Schumacher, but he's, I, he's close. I will say this. I like Joel Schumacher better. I mean, I what was the other one? There was a, I looked up his stuff, and there was another one he made that I was shocked was him. Because it was, like, a lot better than any of his stuff I've seen. And I remember liking it before. Um, shit, what was it? Um, but, like, with George Lucas, he has a good broad sense, where he, like, he comes up with good world, he does good world building, and he does, um, great, like, s scale and scope. Like, a lot, it's, it's Im super impressive, like, if you s watch Phantom Menace, it's shocking to think it came out in the 90s, because it does look pretty good for the time. But he's not so great at the whole, like, dialogue, humanity kind of thing. So you can tell a lot of that dialogue was probably placeholder, and he hoped he would think of something better before they filmed. Somebody put it great when they said, Lucas is an amazing cinematographer. Yeah. But meanwhile... Yeah, that's you look at, like, Alton Brown, he started out as a cinematographer, and he was able to make some great stuff because he took the time to learn the stuff he didn't know. Like, he put himself through culinary school so that he could make better, he could make, like, a good cooking show with his cinematography knowledge. You know why he did that? Because he just didn't like what they were putting out? He had to record a commercial, I want to say it was, for something and he was like i'm not learning anything this is boring this is awful right so he uh went to culinary school and sat down and made a list of three shows he wanted to emulate with his show right uh, wanted, oh so let me see i can think of two i'm gonna say go for it. i'm gonna say the french chef uh mr wizard and a third one i i don't know what the third one would be but those two for sure right you got one. Um, you did not get the other. Which one? I, you got Mr. Wizard. Yeah, that's very, like, that's, it's very clearly Mr. Wizard. Monty Python and Julia Child were the other two. Well, that's, the French chef was Julia Child. Oh, I so I did get the two. I did not get Monty Python, thinking, but that, that actually makes a lot of sense. I was thinking of the Muppet chef. Mm, no, he's the Swedish chef. Correct. So there's um, a part in this game I hate. I'm going to say, hold on, briefly. Terra Truck says, uh, 
Jar Jar being secretly evil and manipulating things behind the scenes would make his I'm put in charge of a bunch of crap and I'm annoying and awful shtick into focus as an act. True, but in reality, the only reason he was put into, like, positions of power later on is because there was enough backlash against him that, like, Lucas just gave him a smaller role. And making him a politician makes logical sense within the universe and is, like, far enough outside of the main thing that people wouldn't be as annoyed about him. Yeah, they didn't include him because he was a fun character. They thought he would be, but he was a racially insensitive character instead. Yeah, and George Lucas, being a Hollywood white Hollywood billionaire, didn't see like, huh, maybe this won't be as funny to the general public. Yeah, that did not go his way. Mm. My god, there is just so much, like, crap to cut out of this game. Yeah. Wait, there, there's a oh, lot yeah, 1 over 2 points out. The Swedish chef has real human hands! Ugh. I don't like the Muppets. I'm gonna go on record here. Not one? Not a single Muppet? Nope. I like Kermit. I like Sesame Street, so I like Kermit and, like, you know, Gonzo showed up there a couple times. Sure. I Gonzo like was Muppet. my favorite Muppet, so. so I like we're cool. Muppet Babies. Muppet Babies. But, uh, you never saw Muppet Babies? I mean, I've seen bits of it, but I've never watched a full episode. And I, by my understanding, it's supposed to be a worse show. Um, I was the age for it. So, like, there was a lot of cult... It was essentially Family Guy before Family Guy. Um. Right. Well, cause... okay. Teratrox, yeah. the reason that... The, part of the reason that Jar Jar was put into such a high position is because he was a war hero from the, the battle at the end of Phantom Menace. So he his uh, usefulness in as a part of the Senate was like really bolstered by that specific victory. And that's why he got so high, despite being incompetent, which plays into the themes of a Senate that's unruly and falling apart and it doesn't help that he's just a useful idiot yeah so you were okay so you said muppet babies is like early family guy how how you're what's the like main crutch family guy relies on in order to tell any kind of a joke oh the cutaway joke yeah or reference jokes right like yeah remember, remember cutaways the, slash references yeah muppet Babies was full of referential humor. Hmm. Uh, to my memory... Seems odd entire... for, like, a kid's show, considering that a lot of kids don't have many points of reference. That was the thing at the time, though. Like, if you look back at some of the, like, late 80s, early 90s television, there were a lot of, like, Phantom of the Opera references and, you know, Wolfman references and this, that, and the other that I grew up, you know, knowing because of these references. You know, I didn't know them through, you know, what have you, uh, trying oh, to think of the word. Oh, repairs. Oh god, I can't do many repairs. Like, I knew more about Star Wars through Muppet Babies and other television shows. Like, think of Animaniacs. Animaniacs mm. did that shit too. You yeah. know? Right. Uh, yeah. Is this where I... Yeah, okay. Um, um, do I have any systems I can buy? Nope. Oh god, I'm on to adding the last hour of footage. Hmm. So, where is this? Fuck it, there we go. Oh, 1 over 2 makes a good point. Um, because those all of those references are why it's hard to release Muppet Babies legally, because they'd have to get the rights for a lot of those references. Yeah, and like a lot of shows did that, like Beetlejuice. He even says, <laughs> uh, "People are joking that Disney is buying everything just so they can release Muppet Babies." I mean, Muppet Babies referenced like 
Indiana Jones. They referenced uh, fucking you name it, right? Like they referenced a lot of shit. Yep. Do I have time? I think so. Golly. Wait, just they would have just straight up clips of those things, according to one over two. Uh, sometimes, like they would do that thing where they would use the footage from something, but like draw over it. Mm. So you'd have like oh, the actual. Oh come on! Path. It said it was gonna fucking connect. Ah, oh, god damn it! Well, this is gonna suck. Oh, oh boy! I think. At the end of this run, which oof, I don't know how long that'll be, I'm probably gonna call it a night. I have a friend's stream that we're gonna watch. We're just gonna do a viewing party of Venture Bros. So, I don't wanna overlap with that too much. If I can help it. That's fine. I am still just trimming out the last little bit of fat from this game. Yes. Because we are. I am in the home stretch. Uh, if I can trim five minutes from it, it will be right at five hours. Nice. That and that would make that a pretty solid, like, two streams across both weekend days. So you want to do two, two and a half hour streams? Pretty much. Or, like, uh, probably closer to three because we'll want to take a break or two in there. Well, I'll send you the whole, uh, like, everything trimmed out. You split it how you see best. Sure. Oh yeah, I'll I'll come through and find a good spot to uh a good spot to uh stop. I think I'll uh, have a very good e easy time cutting out five minutes, maybe more. <laughs> oh, I might actually be able to take this guy out. Holy shit! I was not expecting that. Me trimming fat from this cut footage. Oh, whoa. Holy shit! That actually worked out! Alright, I gotta get the hell out of here, though. So, Iggy, I just got it down to 4 hours and 19 minutes. Hmm. And that's not even including the part I have to cut out later, where I, I fucked up something. Like, right. I lost a fight, I had to refight it, so I'm just... I'm hmm. fully admitting that I lost fights and, and missed quick time events. Right. That part's fine. I'm just trimming them out for expedience. Okay. Um, so. I think I can start Fix trimming. Fix up the hole. Here? Fix up the hole. Get the hell out of there. No, why are you just standing there? No. No, get out of there. Okay. Oh, five viewers. Cool. Q. I pass it? Uh, oh, I have to power up the fucking the med bait for it to work so yeah I have it on the schedule as Saturday and I guess I'll put it for Sunday as well although the way I have the schedule right now it's going it's stopping at Saturday probably gonna scooch that over one day so it goes Monday through Sunday um, if fine. anyone's curious about the schedule, it's below here on the browser version, and it does show what games I'm going to be playing all the rest of this week, leading up to the Shenmue, and then probably starting on Monday after we do that, I'm going to start up Paper Mario. Yeah. Yeah. Split. Honestly, if I can get it down to about four hours total, mm -hmm. nah, I'll, I won't be able to do that. Oh, okay. I got it. It's down to 4.41. Well, that's pretty good. I was going to say, we could probably do all that in a day. Hmm. Refuel. Ah, sons of bitches. Ah, motherfucking pirates. Motherfucking pirates. Goddamn pirates all up in my fucking business. Get out! Don't just fucking stand there. Go fix the engines. Ah, uh, there may be a way to do it, but I wish there was a better way to um. Yes, accept their offer. Wish there was a better way to uh, just like have them 
have pathing to go places that they're useful. Man, I missed this quick time event twice. Oh, I think Teratrox left. Thanks for thanks for watching. If if you are gone now, I guess if you ever watch this later. But uh, yeah, you you definitely gave a lot of good information as far as this game goes. Yeah. And they the credits. Hmm. Mantis controlled or NG controlled? Ah. Uh... NG. And I'm gonna leave the last little bit of credits, I guess. If I could. Mm. Nah, fuck it. So the final tally for how big the vi or how long the video is is four hours and forty minutes. Nice. Solid. Could could you bust another 20 minutes off of that? Is it possible? No. Damn. No. Hmm. Fuel for drone parts. And eh, no. I don't even have any drones. What we could do is do it two streams the same day. Mm-hmm. Like, um, like, do a pre- or post-lunch stream, take a break, and then do the second half afterwards. Hmm. Right. Yeah. Uh, what do I want to buy? Oh, suppose you can win the lottery. What would you do with the money? Which lottery and how much? Oh, this isn't a this isn't a game I'm playing. Oh, like, okay. There's right and a wrong answer. Right. I'm on the Hoochie Boo website playing the dirty games. Oh, right. You know, like I don't like the kind where you have to like. Like, a, someone asks you a question, you have to guess the answer they actually want to hear versus the answer you would actually give. It yeah. always feels really creepy and disingenuous to me. Oh, I can understand. It's, it feels manipulative. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it, it, mm, not okay with that. Hmm? Oh, God. They're trying to escape. Oh. Not on my watch. Hey, Andrew, you want to hear a joke? Your gaming skills. Hey. No. <laughs> um. What? What did the 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 businessman who likes accessories say when he finished up a hand job? Not on my watch. <laughs> Okay. Like not not on his his watch because he likes yeah. his watch. Yeah. Uh, yep. Yeah. We're we're really ripping them out tonight, guys. What do you get when you cross a cow, a giraffe, and sand? Really, really hot sand. What? Tall glass of milk. What? Really hot sand is what they make glass out of. Yeah. Giraffe, really tall. Yeah. Cow, milk, tall glass. Oh, I missed that the cow was in there. What did the judge say when the skunk walked into the courtroom? Odor in the car. Uh... <laughs> Five second film still. Shit, not they on did my a watch not on my watch joke? Because I did just come up with that off the top of my head. What what was their version of it? Yeah, what was their version one over two? Now we just gotta wait for the leg to catch up. Whenever that ends up happening. Hmm. Oh, store, store. Definitely need the store. My health is below half here, so I don't, I don't have uh, high hopes that this will be a very long run. But at the same time, I'm kind of counting on it. Because I am setting a hard limit at like 1050. Because I gotta gotta go watch that situation. Uh, now nah, I'm not gonna fix anything. This is a suicide run. Throwing ourselves to the breach. 
Wait, that's a different game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nope. You ever... <laughs> you ever get sick and, like... This one might cross the line. But, like, you just got really bad stomach problems, you're really sick, and you spend, like, the whole time, like, in the bathroom, you're like, how can I possibly shit when I throw up everything I eat? Like, how could there be anything in there to make a poopy? Hmm. Wait, you, There's always you ever... the logistical problem of when you gotta do both at once. No, you just have a bucket handy. Uh, you you keep a trash if you have the forethought at that point to do so. No, you just keep one in there, like. How forever. many buckets you got? I I will have at most one bucket. Buckets are like three dollars. Yeah, you're implying that I already made that purchase before I was too sick to go do it now. Go buy it right now. No, like, everything's closed. It's like eleven. Amazon's not closed. At this hour? When did those guys close? Feels like no, they're always they're open. Are. They are. Hmm. I don't know uh, how they can handle such a workforce. Apparently, the five-second film version is telling a guy not, uh, telling a soldier not to die on his watch. Mm. Ah, they added even more to the saying. Oh yeah, I guess. Do you remember what Saturday morning breakfast cereal used to do videos? Did they? Oh yeah, a long time ago. Weird. There was also, there was like a trailer that uh, Least I Could Do put out at one point for like an animated series that never happened. And they did uh, do some stuff, but not, like they did more with uh, Looking for Group. Hmm. Which also sucked. Like I tried to read Looking for Group. Um, same artist, same writer. Right. So I know that Ryan Somer can write a story, but I swear to God, it got to a point with looking for group where it felt like just a series of non sequiturs. Mm. Like, I mean, a lot of gaming stuff ends up doing that at a certain point. I'm like, I'm pretty shocked that Penny Arcade has stayed more or less solid. Although a lot Penny of their Arcade early stuff was just dick jokes. Penny Arcade was good. Control-Alt-Delete was, and then just jumped off the list. Well, they were good because they were stealing from Penny Arcade. <laughs> and then, like, once they stopped doing that and tried doing their own stuff and, like, made these huge storylines, I, I can't even. The dating guy? Never heard of this. What is... Yeah, I, I guess... I guess it's just like a, a washed up knockoff, uh, least I could do. Sounds like. Going it. off of context. No, intruders on board! Oh no. Oh, that's a lot of guys. Intruders on board. Oh man. You know the Mitch Hedberg joke about, uh, ordering pizza and. If it were a pie chart. Do you know that joke? Uh, it does sound familiar, but my brain is not giving it to me right now. So you know how some pizza places sell pizza by the slice? Right. He went into one, ordered a slice, and they gave him the thinnest slice on the pie. It's right. like, if it were a ah. pie chart of what... If it were a pie chart of what you would do if you found a million dollars laying in the street, they gave me the give it away slice. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a good one. If you looked at the uh, pie chart showing how much of this video is done being rendered, mm -hmm. it's that slice. Oof. Oh yeah, rendering takes for goddamn ever. I have yeah. like my computer's decent enough about it, like, but it's like two times speed basically. Like, the 50-minute video that I rendered out ended up being... Or, like, it's, like, half speed, so it took, like, two hours to render that. Yeah. This is on my laptop, so I don't really... I'm not really worried about it. Right. So I don't... Like, right here. 
Like, I have my desktop to work on outside of that. Mm. Uh, you know who just did a really good video about why doing this kind of work on a laptop is actually just fine? Who? Is, uh, do you watch Technology Connections on YouTube? No, I don't. He's a really good uh, presenter. He does uh, really, like, either obscure tech. He's a lot like, uh, what's his face? Um, tech Moan? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, in fact, I believe they both referenced each other in previous videos. Yeah. I mean, sometimes when people are in the same kind of circle with YouTube with the same kind of content, <laughs> that ends up happening. Yeah, so... Uh, <laughs> he's this guy named Alec that's mm -hmm. just really good out of um, somewhere. I forget where he's from. But he's really good at uh, the presenting tech stuff in a way that I'm just like, yeah, I can relate to what he's saying. Because he gets very salty with people who try to tell... Like, he is not one of those... It has to be the greatest computer on the planet, or what's the point of even trying? No, really, yes, you need the minimum. Like, the the thing, it's the same with audio, where I hear so many people being like, do I have to get, like, the best thing? Or, can I go with this really cheap thing? And my answer is always kind of somewhere in the middle. Like, there is a lower bar to entry when it comes to any kind of technology, but as long as you get to that bar, you're probably fine. Like, with audio, like, if you look at... Uh, Billie Eilish, like she won a gr Grammy for an album she worked with her brother on, with just lot like uh, just like Logic, with uh, with standard plugins and like a hundred dollar microphone, and they won a a Grammy with that. It's like as long as it's not bad, it's fine. Yeah, and too many people are. Like, no, it has to be the best or it's not good. No. Like, no I mean, future-proofing is a thing, and when people make a big investment like a computer, a lot of them want to get the thing that's going to last the longest, and to them it's like, oh, it's going to be the one that is, like, the highest specs and stuff, which is kind of true, but in reality, if you take care of it and, like, do disk defrags and, like, make sure you've got your antivirus up to date and, like, keep getting the service packets and everything... Most computers can last five to six years, and very rarely, even the highest spec ones aren't going to last much longer than that. Yeah, and the thing is, if you've got at least for the desktop, you can just put in new parts. Like, yeah, you, you a lot can. of laptops you can do that too. It's just more difficult because it can be kind of set up for the chassis. But yeah, with it's honestly. Here's the thing, and we're, we're going to end it here because I did lose that run, and I, I got to go, but I highly recommend getting into making your own computers because it's super easy nowadays. It's way easier than it used to be. Like, the likelihood that you're going to mess up in a major way is pretty low, um, and the, the parts just go together. Like, they're designed to just go together so you know when they're working, and it's so much cheaper. Uh, if you got the high, like, all of the best components for the, like, biggest gaming rig, say, like, the, the still, like, sing, like, just for the computer, not, like, counting the monitor or anything else, for just the actual computer tower, all of the parts, about 1500 bucks. For which, considering the prefab ones are, like, three to 4000 that's pretty good. And it's not that much work, and it's pretty easy to do if you, like, do your research. Uh, since I don't like like hardcore gaming or do anything super intensive online, all I need for my laptop is to be able to render video. I don't care how long that takes because I'm not sure. going to be at it. I have a desktop and all I need my desktop to be able to do is easily emulate like GameCube. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And mm, that's it. That's as big as I so I have a three hundred dollar desktop that we just got this year. Three hundred dollars does everything I needed to do. Sure, and now, that's the thing too Maddie, is that if you really wanted stuff to render better or faster, 
the thing would not be getting another computer, it'd just be getting a better graphics card. And that will handle most of the actual computing of the graphics side of it. Right, and Maddie, who works in video games, would need a little better equipment than what this is for some stuff. But the thing about that is, we can get that and just install it. Well, that's and the thing, not have to yeah. Pay. That's the the main thing with the the cheaper prefabs. Just make sure that it is actually upgradable, because some of them are weird. I had like a uh, not a Dell, but like an Asus, I think, tower, and it was okay. But the way the motherboard was like hooked in and stuff, it had its own like special tray, so there was no way to replace stuff or upgrade really, and it had very little like expansion possibilities. So as long as you this... check that it is upgradable and you get like if honestly I'd say spend if you're gonna get do the prefab thing just spend enough on like a decent computer like a three hundred dollar one on Amazon like Andrew has and then spend about the same amount maybe uh, probably less on like the best graphics card that you can afford and it will be like as good as a computer much more expensive like really the the main difference between the lower end computers and the like really high rigs is just like graphic card, CPU, um, probably RAM, but RAM is incredibly <laughs> cheap and super easy to install. And for me, I just needed a Windows. And I was like, well, if I'm going to get another computer, I might as well get a desktop. I have three laptops. I don't need another laptop. Yeah, I could definitely use... I had a desktop, but I wasn't... Once I got the MacBook, which is just, like, so much more powerful, I wasn't using it, and then I ran into kind of a rough spot with my business, so I sold it, and that's fine. I can get another one. Like, I'm just gonna... Right now, my goal is to save up enough to make, like, a, a proper streaming gaming rig, which, like I said, about 1500 bucks, not bad. Hopefully, the best course would be if I get this stream big enough that I can like actually start getting revenue from it pretty much that revenue is all going to go towards getting a better computer so it's not as much of a pain to do all this streaming but with that I do have to end this here so thank okay. you to everybody watching thanks to everybody who did watch thanks to everyone who watches in the future on the archive channel which is down below on the browser version or the past broadcast tab which is the last 60 or so days I've been doing it daily for the last few weeks so uh, there's probably quite a bit on there right now. Um, you can also check out my Twitter, at IggyDKid, which is where I tweet out when I'm going live. You can check out my personal YouTube, Iggy and the Ape, where I've posted some movie reviews recently. So please check those out. I put uh, quite a bit of work into them. And I also have like a series that I'm going to have season two of pretty soon, Iggy Kid's Whiteboard Games, which are board game tutorials. So please go check those out. And then check out the schedule, which shows what I'm going to be playing. I stream pretty much daily, eight or somewhere between like 9 to 11 Eastern time. Subject to change, sometimes I just don't. Eh, sometimes I just need a day. Um, but yeah, we're gonna be doing some one-offs up through the weekend. On the weekend, we're gonna do a Shenmue commentary series of streams. So it's gonna be two streams where we watch uh, Andrew's playthrough of Shenmue and we just basically do commentary on it. Um, and then starting next Monday, I'm gonna be doing Paper Mario the original N64 game, and then working through that whole series in more long plays. So, you know, check all of that out. Please come back. Please follow if you uh, aren't already, because I, I would greatly appreciate it. I'm trying to get to the 50 follows to be an affiliate, and it would greatly help. It is free, so just click the heart, and you will be followed. And I appreciate it a great deal. Uh, let me know if you have any suggestions or anything, if you think I could do this better, or there's something that you personally would prefer. Let me know. I'm still fairly new to streaming and I'm willing to try out whatever to maybe improve it so let me know what you'd expect from a stream that I'm not currently doing. Andrew any last words? Yeah just a uh, final thing about my laptop. I'm at a hmm. quarter finished rendering already so it's not, it's fine That's like, pretty good. It does, yeah I mean it's a four hour close to five hour video and it's already a quarter is that on the? Is that on the MacBook? Yeah Okay. This is iMovie. When, when is your MacBook from? Like when I got it in 2015. Okay. Yeah, the one I'm running right now, I believe, is the 2017, and it was refurbished. I got it as a gift, but when it dies, I'm probably going to buy another one, because honestly, 
Mac is way better for working with media. <laughs> like PC is better for games and it's better for uh, it's better for some computing, but then Macs are way better for working with media and also apparently way better for coding. Like Macs are what most pe most coders use. I also have Raspberry Pis, I have tablets, I have... That's true. Yeah. There's a lot of tech out there, there's a lot of affordable ways to do stuff. If you want to do something, do your research, find out what the bare minimum to, to like, suffice what you're trying to do is, and get that, and up... Here's the biggest piece of advice. This came from somebody shopping for skis, and they asked the salesman, like, hey, what's the difference between these skis and these other skis that are, like, twice as much? And they say... When you can tell me what the difference is between those two skis, then you should buy the more expensive ones. But for right now, you're good with the cheaper ones. That's pretty much always it. Until you know why you need the more expensive thing, you don't. All right. Good night, everybody. Eat your cheese. Eat your cheese. Good night. <laughs>